Hey folks, back with another video. Let's dive into what stories got my attention. Now, late last month, uh, seven marines and one sailor were killed in a training accident off the coast of Southern California. Now, this was something I had covered in a few days back video. Now, on this Friday, a U.S. Navy underwater salvage operation recovered the remains of all the eight people. Well, now these individuals get a proper burial and the families can now visit their graves. Anyhow, moving on. It seems that the explosion in Beirut has had has led to protests in the city. And amid various resignations both before and after the blast, it seems the government has come to the conclusion that they should hold elections. Prime Minister Hassan Diab said he will be he will put the proposal for a parliamentary election to his to his cabinet. The protesters uh, celebrated this announcement and in the current circumstances I think it is clear that the government does not have the confidence of the people and holding the election is the correct thing to do for them. Hopefully the new government can do what what is right for its people. Moving on, as tension with Beijing keep increasing, it is important to also pay attention to on the Russian front of the tensions. In recent times, U.S. spy planes have been flying close to the Russian border, from far from, it seems, far from the home. Now it seems that the Russians have responded by flying their spy planes near Alaska. Now in the, con in the current environment, it would be better to make peace with the Russians in order to focus on Beijing. But it seems that the U.S. Dom domestic politics will push U.S. into conflict with two countries, which would be difficult to handle if not an abysmal failure. Moving on, it seems that the state funeral of Taiwan's former leader, Li Tang Hui, is another occasion to test the Washington-Beijing tensions. Now, Beijing would most likely react to any country that sends a delegation there on the state funeral. So far, we don't know if the U.S. will send any. But anyhow, if the U.S. sends someone, then it should be of some importance. Anyhow, moving, moving on. The... U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General David Thompson has been selected for the post as Space Force's Vice Chief of Space Operations. Now, previously, he held various positions in the Army under the Air Force, which, uh, which dealt with the space uh, subsection of the Air Force. But I think his movement to a proper space force is a good thing. I um, don't know much about the guy, but I'm sure he's, as far as I can read, he, he is the right guy for this job. Anyhow, but more broadly, I am actually looking forward to the space force doing actual missions in space. And you know, hopefully bring back some excitement and maybe in a strange way, bring back unity to all the people on Earth. Anyway, and that's it for this video. If you like the video, then hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for future updates. I will see you in the next video.